What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Hot League Bus reaction. We're going to be jumping into the next one on our first 211 journey. 100,000 videos. Definitely a time for celebration when you hit that little ghost go milestone on your way towards your future goals. Shout out to First 211. Like, congratulations on it. YouTubers work a long time. Very, very hard to ever achieve it. So you've achieved it. The history of First 211. Let's jump in. into it. Let's check it out together. It's coming at us from Ruby. Much, much love. I do appreciate the support. Let's see what they did for their 100,000. Hey, everyone. We just hit 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Uh, we just updated our website, so you guys can find that at first211.com. So make sure you guys check that out. So to celebrate 100,000 subscribers, we're going to take you through the history of the band that started almost 10 years ago. That was really good, actually. That was really that good. Was like, good. That, could job, be, that could be in a movie. <laughs> that was really good, actually, considering, you know, First to Eleven, they like to retake and take and retake and take, especially their outros, but we love them. Ten years ago. That was really good, actually. That was really that good. Was like, that, could be, that could be in a movie. So, hey, everybody. I'm Ryan. I've been helping the band since the very beginning. Uh, right now, I help with the recordings, and I do all the filming and editing for the videos. I've been a guitar teacher for, like, 15 years. I had Matthew in guitar lessons. I had... Charlie's brother Bo in guitar lessons and I had their friend Ben uh, that also went to the same school and then I got a phone call from Chad's mom and and he wants to join too but we already had three guitar players I said Chad could join the band if he learned how to play bass and uh, he didn't really have a choice so that's why Chad's the bass player <laughs> uh, we started learning Dirty Little Secret by the All-American Rejects and The Middle by Jimmy Eat World and we did a performance in front of everybody's families in Charlie's house. So we have video from that very first show, and uh, here it is. <laughs> no, right. So um, we got the name M4. Mom actually came up with this um, one day when I was over at Charlie's house, and she said, how cool would it be if um, your name was Mini Men Making Music? Um, obviously, as time went on, uh, it became a little bit less cool, especially when we got a girl in the band. <laughs> Our ages range from I was the youngest in the band at the time. I would have been nine years old when we played this show. Chad would be ten, Charlie would be ten, Ben would have been ten, and Bo would be eleven. So we were very small. I remember when Bo jumped off that jump. Been rocking since they were knee high to a grasshopper. I like it. <laughs> So the first like three or four shows that the band ever played, they didn't have a singer. So we just had someone fill in for them. So after that first performance, this is one of the very first songs that Matthew wrote. Um, it was a team effort, but all right. I did not write the lyrics though. Another you know friend of the band, his name was Steven. So he was the singer in the band. Uh, first like permanent singer in the band. I, my brother filmed this video before I had ever like filmed a, a music video before. So the theme was like the candy and <laughs> I think we spent like, I don't know, 50 bucks in candy yeah. to make this. Like these songs are so bad. Get in the car, go to a potty. <laughs> like, well it's supposed to be a party. I know, it's supposed to be a party, Charlie. But... I don't even think I was playing. You, can definitely, you guys can definitely tell we didn't use auto-tune back then. So they use auto-tune now? I just like the style. Things just well, Yeah, it's not, not super accurate. Are they, are they making it rain candy on them? I just like the style. Things just well, Yeah, it's not, not super accurate. Well... Alright. <clears throat> Who wrote that riff? I think did Bo write that? I thought Bo did. I think this is when we put out the EP. So this was the very first... Yeah, it was the first uh, M4 EP. So there's five songs on there that you guys wrote at this age. It's probably still on iTunes what, and Spotify. M4? Everyone go look at M4 Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all had the same haircut. Yeah, I know, yeah. because it was Justin Bieber. <laughs> really? Now the truth comes out. <laughs> no, because it... Yeah, seriously. Like, I want to be like Justin Bieber. But you would have been like 10, 10 to 12 years old <clears throat> here. It's been about a year. And this video, I think we put out on my YouTube channel. Yeah, look up my Check YouTube channel, Ryan Rock School. Uh, some of the other bands that, that I was doing back then are still on that channel, and my videos are on that channel too. They're not very good, but... <laughs> They're not very good. I don't know why we did any of the stuff we did in this video. Okay, 
So then Steven left the van to uh, pursue his athletic abilities. <laughs> Catherine went to school with you guys too, right? Yeah, Catherine was uh, me and Charlie's love triangle. <laughs> and Ben. And Ben. And Ben. So. Love square. <laughs> love, love square of fourth grade. Damn, I should start wearing really tight shirts again. Yeah, so they were definitely in the band at the same time. Yeah. 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 Um, but then I guess Steven just left and then we were just with Catherine. Yeah. So some of them have been together for ever. Like a ridiculously long time. Very cool that they're still there. A lot of people that have that a lot of those bands that have been together for a long time end up falling out sometimes. They end up having their disagreements. They end up breaking up. It's nice to see that they might not be the same band that they were back then, but they've evolved. They've become better. They become greater. They become really, really good. Catherine. But this is when we started doing YouTube covers, I guess. And I forget what this one got, like 10,000 views or something like that. But for being 2000, like 10 or 11 or something, that was pretty good. Yeah. All right. So this is the very first YouTube cover that we did uh, with Catherine. Ben was really into making these little tape things back then, so he's like, Catherine, you should hold this flower I had made of tape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's what she's holding in the that's video. That's what that is? Yes, it's yeah, a that's flower a duck, he made out of duct tape. Yeah, no, no, it's a duct tape flower. Duct tape flower. Okay, so this is the first, like, YouTube hit. We made oh, this man. video when Chad and Charlie were at Summer Cross practice or something. Sweet. They're so young and adorable. Look at them, but they were still rocking. Yeah, Wasn't we're, we're at summer camp. Yeah, we were at you were at some kind of summer camp. camp. So we didn't have a drummer, so I played drums on this video off camera. But this version of this song, I think, went to like 30,000 views. Yeah, if we would have continued making covers at uh, this we'd point. Be millionaires. Millionaires. I actually drive a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. This was our first like time actually playing at the Rock Off. We probably should have won. This is very, very cool. You guys were cool. original songs back then. So you did five original songs with Catherine, too. Yeah. Those aren't anywhere, though. No, those aren't published. Like, those aren't published anywhere. I think I have them somewhere on some hard drive that we'll have to maybe dig up. This is also when I started using colored strings. So there was just three, like, silver colored strings, and there was just one red one. And I told Ryan it helped me, because then I knew where my hand was supposed to go. At this point, you started playing with a five string too. Yeah. So you got super confused as to which string was which. I also tuned that the, the top string to like G or something. <laughs> to like, whatever, because you never played on it. This is like probably when you tried the most, because this is pretty close to when we played Hysteria for the first time. So you were like actually a good bass player. Well, yeah, At the peak that. of your bass playing abilities, right? You right thought here. I was a product. That's jacked up. That's his peak of his bass playing capabilities back then. That's me. In 2013. You can see Bo's going up to the mic, but I'm pretty sure he's not even singing anything. No, we just made it look good. But before Catherine left, I got an applicant through my rock school um, from Audra. Uh, one of my friends said, like, she's, like, really good, and she needs to be in a really good band. So I didn't put her in a band right away, and I just kind of waited because I thought that Catherine was maybe going to leave. The day that Catherine called and said, like, I'm going to go to whatever practice that she was going to go to instead of band practice. I called Audra's parents and she, what did you leave like? I came from a basketball game yeah. and I just like left halfway through. I called her and said like, can you come to practice tonight? And she showed up and sang this song uh, at practice and then Girl, Audra was in the band. Like, holy shit. But no, I remember when you came down the driveway, all of us went up to the top of Ben's driveway and we hid in the bushes. Because we wanted to see what all <laughs> no, was like, yeah. no, I'm dead serious. That's exactly yeah. what happened. We were like, we were all super nervous because we didn't know who she was before she joined the band. So we're yeah. like, what does she look like? Who is she? You know I mean, we didn't. She didn't go to our school, so we weren't. We've never had someone that wasn't inside of our friend group join our band before. Yeah, this is her very first show. Did she I like think cry a lot? I cried. Yeah. I cried at the show in the car before I came out to sing because I learned the wrong song and. I learned it in the car. There hysteria. Uh -huh. She was supposed, yeah, supposed to sing Hysteria, but she learned the uh, Def Leppard version of Hysteria uh, oh and not the the Muse version. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think uh, I didn't sing Screech but I think you might have liked it too. Yeah. No, your dad, you came down and you... 
It is absolutely no wonder that they seem to have some sort of crazy chemistry. It's because there is crazy chemistry and history there. Like, that's awesome to me. Like, way to not give up on the dream. Way to not, way to, like, see it through. You started playing that song and your dad was just like, come on, Audra, I, I play this song all the time for you. Like, oh, oh, yeah, like, he tried to get yeah, you to just do like, it. Oh, my gosh, Audra. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is our first, like, real music video, right? Yeah. So this was the very first song that we wrote with Audra. But this is at Ben's house. I feel like I sound like a baby. Yeah. Your voice is like super high. Yeah. I made you guys all go to Hot Topic and like yeah, pick yeah. out like shirts and, and stuff like that. We each just had one outfit. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> you guys all dressed in like gym shorts like all the time. And I was like, you gotta start looking like a band at some point. So, I'm, I'm wearing gym shorts well, we, right now. <laughs> But we went to Hot Topic, and I was like, all right, pick out, you know, whatever you want. And Bo <laughs> picked out a shirt that had a panda bear on it. And I was like, everything that you could pick in this store, you picked the pandemonium shirt. Because he was like, Snoopy one. Yeah, he wore, like, a Snoopy shirt in, like, the band, like, promo photos that we got taken, like, around this time. Yeah, so this is yeah. on iTunes, this too. This is the first professionally mixed and mastered song that we had. Okay, so this would have been, yeah, the second song that we we did with Audra. Oh, I definitely didn't even write this about anything. I feel like this is just something I kind of came up with in my mind when I was little because I didn't know what to write about, and I still don't know what to write about. <laughs> Those skinny jeans lasted a while. <laughs> I just, like, tried to spread my legs out, and I went down, like, a power stance and, like, the side of a rift. So I was like, all right, done with those. This is Jack's, Jack's mom. mom's first video. So you can check out their page on YouTube for their videos and their songs are up on Spotify. iTunes and Spotify and everything too. Yeah. If you search Jack's Mom, they have one EP up there. Yeah, this is Sam and Ben's band and Matt nice. too. I forgot Matt joined this band shortly after they started too. So this is our, <laughs> this is our first rock off at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It's got to be really weird for them to be looking back at their old stuff and be like, yeah. That's me. Like, I used to despise looking at home videos and things like that. We might have to pull some up when I get back to the States and share them off. Like, <laughs> we have to do something like this. So, I can see everyone. I look like a mouse. <laughs> Is this when we had like a bus of our friends come up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we rented oh, a coach start bus and one. had all of our friends come up and watch us play. They all had like M4 shirts and signs and stuff. So yeah, this is the, the first year that you guys won and the first year that you were eligible. I saw that video when we were at the racetrack and you're like, <laughs> it's weird hearing myself. Oh god. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we put I'll that in there again? Uh, yeah. So there's a, like an award show that, that Erie has every year where all the bands compete in specific uh, categories and stuff. And this is officially after okay. Ben left to join, go join Jack's mom. So this is before we recorded the first CP, but yeah, we I already so. had the song written. Yeah, so this was before Nick. Yeah. And then Carried Away won um, Song of the Year and we won Best Rock Band of the Year. Yeah. <laughs> You've won like every year well, since yeah. then. Or did you lose one? No, we were using a row. Yeah, we won three we're years. In that, like, we're in the oh, yeah, you're in the hall. <coughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. So this would have been the start of when we were called first to 11. Yeah, it's the first. Because we shot this video along with our promo pictures in the same day when we had to get our name change. So they decided to change the name at this point since the music was kind of going a different direction and everything, too. Um, so the first to 11, the actual name, we, we play this game, volleyball. Um, but it's basically, to sum it up, it's first to 11 points wins. Weeks upon <laughs> weeks, I think it was like almost two yeah. months for us to pick a name. And we tried so many names. First to 11 points wins. And that's how it was born. <laughs> that's awesome. That's very, very interesting. Like I love hearing band histories. I love seeing people evolve, especially people that have been rocking together this long. It's hard to ignore that. Yeah. Oh, I think Charlie had the first idea with the 11 because our original name was Lights at 11. Oh, yeah, Because the yeah. lights for the game that we oh, play yeah. at, or the tennis court that we go to, turn off at 11. But then Charlie, I think actually Charlie shot down that idea because it sounds like that's your bedtime. <laughs> like <laughs> Lights at 11. Yeah. So then we had to change it to first to 11. So this isn't the recording that's on the EP now. This yeah, yes. Yeah, why don't you pause that little bitch. 
so yeah, this is shortly after we recorded the Out of Time EP. So this was on, um, we got to play at Warp Tour, um, which was really fun. Um, we actually got a pretty big crowd, I thought. But Next was... two shows, I actually think it was Roar on the Shore. Wasn't that with, uh, you were playing with Quiet Riot? Yeah. Yeah, we opened up for them, yeah. That part was at uh, our first EP. Really good, but <laughs> they're not very good. Whoa. I don't know why we did any of that. Time out. We just skipped all the way back. I don't know what the hell just happened there. But we got to get back to where we were. So hold on a second and we will be right back. All right, I think I got it back right to about where we were. I do apologize. I don't know what happened there. Let's get back into it. Like, that's your bedtime? <laughs> like, late's at 11. Yeah. So then we had to change it the first to 11. So this isn't the recording that's on the EP now. This yeah, is yes. Uh, yeah, why don't you pause that, little bitch? So, yeah, this is shortly after we recorded the Out of Time EP. So this was on, um, we got to play at Warp Tour, um, which was really fun. Um, we actually got a pretty big crowd, I thought, but... Next was... two shows, I actually think it was Roar on the Shore. Wasn't that with, uh, you were playing with Quiet Riot? Yeah. Yeah, we opened up for them, yes. That part was at, uh, our first EP release. Oh yeah, so that was so when that the EP was at, Yeah, that was at was Basement released. Transmissions. So the EP was recorded in Detroit with Nick Scott, and he's the one that does all of the mixes and masters on the YouTube videos. Everything from Heathens On, Nick mixes uh, and masters it. Yeah. We had yeah, tickets to the Warped Tour, and we used this video to like try and give away tickets. And I shot this video, this is one of the very first videos that I shot. I didn't know what I was doing, the white balance is all wrong. Everything's oh, no, super shaky. Our worst video, but like, especially oh, yeah. video-wise, yeah. but also our most viewed video mm -hmm. by, I don't know, a million like views. Easy a million. <laughs> Easily yeah. a million views. So like right after the movie came out, everyone started searching this song. This is also what got picked up by that Nightcore channel. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the Nightcore channel took this song and, and posted on their channel that had like 500,000 subscribers or something crazy like that. And it got you know, half a million views or maybe a million views on the Nightcore channel and then they put our link in there. So that's how a lot of the subscribers first started coming to our, our channel. So that got 60,000 views in a day and you got over a thousand subscribers in a day. Everything from that point just kept growing and growing on this video. Yeah. The first three or four videos that you guys did were like really, really hit songs. Yeah. And they were the that's ones. really what like took the channel up. And we should probably mention too, um, getting shared on Cover Nation was like pretty big too because they put the link to our channel in there. And I think uh, Closer got like 500,000 on their channel and it's almost to a million on our channel. Well, the first uh, couple videos we also filmed in Charlie's house. We, well, we, yeah. Charlie and Bo's house. So the, the orange looking videos were in like his his living room and then this is like the dining room and we took everything out of there and filmed this video but this song we actually recorded it like two months before we actually made the video yeah. and we were like i don't know if this song's gonna get popular and we like really drug our feet on on putting this video out <laughs> this is when we first moved into the new place like a year ago today yeah man that we moved into this building um, so there's two practice rooms here and some lesson rooms, and this is where we film all of the... Someone's practicing right now. <laughs> Someone is practicing right now, and this is where we film all the videos. Matthew's wearing a Jack's mom shirt. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most fun one to shoot in my opinion. And when we shot this video, we were supposed to start at what? Four like o'clock? Four o'clock, yeah. but Charlie's an idiot. No. I forgot my symbols or something. Or Sam's an idiot. No, you brought your kick drum. Yeah, it was the kick drum. Sam drum. was yeah. the Sam biggest was part of your instrument. But it ended up looking awesome in the in the volleyball scenes with the sun like yeah. going down in the in the background. And That's Audra's famous leather skirt. Yeah, I wear it in every video. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the praying video, which is I think one of the worst videos. As far as views, <coughs> but this I was think the. I got a hundred thousand or something. Two hundred thousand. I don't think it's even two hundred thousand. Oh, really? I think it's at sixty. Oh. Um, but this is the first video that Sam was in with the That's band. That's why it's so low. 
<laughs> so Sam was. Wow. So was Bo's mean. Last this was Shut Bo's up. last oh my video. God. Oh yeah, this was Bo's this last, was video. last video. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna keep it in this time. So so Bo. Um, <laughs> I can't do this. Here's Bo. You know you've seen him throughout the video, but um, he's been around for, like since the beginning. He's Charlie's brother. Um, but he actually goes to Penn State, Maine, right now. Um, but yeah, we miss him. I miss him. But he's yeah. still, like, always gonna be part of the band. Anyone that was ever in the band is still yeah. part of the band. But he was in the last um, video that we did. So this is Sam's first video, like, officially <coughs> being, you know, in the band as a guitar player. Song. Wait, this is the one that you recorded? Yeah, I tracked this one. And he was like, yeah, you guys did a surprisingly good job, like, making this one. Like, it was easy, and I was like, Thanks, Dad. oh my god. <laughs> What's so an empanada? <laughs> it's no, something but... that Taco Bell made up, Jeff. <laughs> oh. So this is the first video uh, that we did a collab on. Hallocene was in there, I think they did a Heathens one with us, and yeah, one of the other videos, they did like the same song as us, so we kind of started like sending messages on each other's videos back and forth, like, oh, you guys are cool, you guys are cool, and then... We like you. We like you too. <laughs> and then Addy sent us a, an email and said like, hey, I want to fly out to Erie and we'll do a video with you guys and, and you guys can do a video with us. So this is that video. And they That's have what I the say. Paramore one with me oh, yeah. on it on their channel. And Tara Bright. Yeah, yeah. Tara Bright and me, so check them out on their channel. Hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, alright, so this is our most recent video. Um, as you can see, it's snowing in the video. We got yeah, a snow machine, spent like 150 bucks on it. <laughs> we were trapped in a hot room with all this, like, bleach, basically. <laughs> a bottle that says, like, do not inhale. And, like, this entire time, we did, like, six takes. Please, and please all keep in a just... well-ventilated yeah. area. Yeah. Chad I got popcorn lungs. I think I got popcorn lungs <laughs> from it. I'm choking thinking about it. Yeah. Like, none of us could breathe. It didn't fall right, so we had to use uh, my daughter's bouncy house, fan, like, yeah. fan to blow yeah. the snow around so that it fell, like, evenly. I don't even think I can hold the notes, like, yeah. long enough. Keep my mouth yeah. open long enough. My sweater was supposed to light up, too, but the batteries died. My <laughs> yeah. yeah. came back from school and was able to film this video. It just left Saturday, Sunday. But I call, I call it that sweatshirt my Santa red sweatshirt, <laughs> so. But this is the most recent video, so this is where we're at right now. Thanks for 100,000 subscribers and... Thank you guys. Thank you. We love you a lot. Shut up, Charlie. We know that they most certainly have a few more than 100,000 subscribers right now, but they could definitely do with a few more. Go over and show first to 11 some love. It's been a hell of a journey for them. It's been a hell of an evolution. It's been a fun one to watch if you guys enjoyed it hit the like button if you dislike it, hit the dislike button check out one of my other videos up there subscribe right here if you want to see more content possibly your content until the next one how the possible you guys be happy healthy safe love you to the moon and back peace